What is up, family? Good morning. I wanted to come and share this video with you this morning. Um, I know some of you are brand new and just getting started. And of course, we have our veteran challengers who are in these groups with us, showing up, doing your workouts, following the nutrition plans. You've got it locked down. But again, like I said, there's some that are new. So this video is just to kind of elaborate a little bit because especially on the nutrition side of things, that is usually the hardest part for people. So I speak heavily to balance and a lot of people don't understand what that means or how to have balance when it comes to nutrition, a healthy lifestyle. You know, you're adding in the workouts, but specifically on nutrition and making those healthy lifestyle choices, food choices, um, and just all the things in between. So what does it mean to have balance in your nutrition? First and foremost, I want you guys to get of the mindset that this is not a diet. This is not um, something of dep deprivation. That is not what our programs and nutrition plans are about. It is not about deprivation. Um, it is about, again, balance. So for instance, I'm going to kind of use myself as an example. I know um, a bunch of my coaches and our team are going all in on our current program. So especially if you're brand new, this is the perfect time to go all in on your very first program. Or if you're someone who has been in our group for a while, going all in on the whatever program you're doing right now. So what that means is not just making sure you get your workout in every single day um, and checking it off on your calendar and you're having your water and you're having your superfood shake, you're doing all of, all of those things, but you're not following the, nu the nutrition plan to AT, whether that's your ultimate portion fix or the 2B mindset, whichever plan that you choose, but going all in on it, fully understanding what the nutrition plan means, what it entails, how you follow it to fit your goals, not just a cookie cutter, you know, one size fits all kind of a thing. If you're vegan or vegetarian or have certain limitations or things that you need to restrict from your diet, um, for medical reasons or health reasons, then obviously you're following those guidelines. But at the end of the day, regardless of which plan you're following, you are in it to a T from start to finish, from day one of your workout program to whatever the last day is. If it's 21 days, 60 days, 90 days, whatever, you are all in. So if you haven't gone all in on a program to date, if you are a veteran challenger in our groups or a coach, now is the time to go all in. And if you're brand new, Let's help you do that right now in your first program. So if you haven't looked over the nutrition plan yet, be sure to get in there and do that. Again, ultimate portion fix or to be mindset. So our color-coded color -coded portion containers or um, the more plate visualization and healthy lifestyle principles sort of nutrition plans. So if you're not familiar with either of those or you didn't sign up for access to either of those, get with your coach or myself and let us know so that we can help you. Um, or if you're someone who already kind of had the basis of nutrition, so you didn't need one of those really broken down, detailed step-by-step -step plans, you do still have meal plans and nutrition guides that come with whatever program you signed up with. So utilize that. Go to the 21 day fix um, plan or program specifically in our virtual gym and pull up the program materials, the nutrition guide and meal plan is going to be there. Follow that. Like that is the basic steps of getting started with a balanced nutrition plan. You're making sure you're getting the essential macros your body needs. That means the appropriate carbs, proteins, fats, fruits and vegetables, all of those things in the appropriate amounts, uh, amounts that are adequate for you to be healthy, but also to achieve your specific goals. So go and look for that, but let's get back to balance. Um, and just being all in on that. So for instance, you going into these meal plans without the idea of deprivation, like that means you get to have treats. You get to still have the foods that you enjoy and that, you know, make you feel good. Those comfort foods, the things that you don't really ever want to give up because you just enjoy them. Whether that means from, you know, a childhood memory or just a particular food that you freaking love because it's so tasty. Like it just makes you happy. I'm one of those people. I love food. Um, there's some things that I just prefer not to eat. Um, but at the end of the day, if you want certain things, have them. So have a treat meal. This is where people kind of get messed up. They either do really good Monday through Friday, super clean, healthy. I've done this before. I made that mistake for too long. In the beginning of my journey, you don't, you don't really clean Monday through Friday. And then the weekend you go crazy and you're eating out and just out of your routine. Cause you know, you're kind of 
in a work week, Monday through Friday, you have your routine, your morning, lunch, dinner, like all that's kind of the same. And then it comes the weekend and you're just all over the place. You don't really have any structure. So you're just like, whatever, I'm just going to eat everything. So don't live that way. First and foremost, have a treat during the week, a treat meal though, not a treat day. There is a difference. So that doesn't mean just one whole day of eating whatever you want, right? Pick up, you know, whatever it is and don't live for the weekends. If there is a random Tuesday that you want to have, you know, whatever it is, your fried chicken or um, whatever your fix is that you've been wanting. If it happens to be on a Tuesday, have it on a Tuesday. Get yourself out of that mindset that you have to have this treat or save yourself up for the weekend to be really good during the week because that's how you start getting yourself in that habit and that mindset of not only living for the weekend, but then, you know, splurging and overdoing it over the weekend because you just, you know, once I start, well, then I've just ruined everything. So let me just you know, let the whole weekend go. No. So it's a treat meal, not a treat day, first and foremost. And something that I'm going to be implementing because honestly, before a treat meal for me, like I'm a dessert person, like hands down, I love a good treat meal in general, but if I were to have to choose, you know, or, you know, alcohol or desserts, nine times out of 10, I'm going to go for the sweets as opposed to the alcohol, but I love both. Right. So in that case, um, I would have, or not in that case, but my treat meals would, would consist of the meal plus a dessert, which is not bad or wrong. It's up to you how you want to do it is my point in bringing that up. So maybe you want to do um, split days where, you know, one day of the week you have that sweet treat if that's your thing. And then the another day during the week separate from that is where you actually have your treat meal. That's something that I'm going to be implementing myself just as a change up. So maybe you could do that. It's up to you to decide, but it's a treat meal, not a treat day. So have your treat meal with, with a dessert, if that's your thing, or split them up and have those two things on separate days. Totally up to you, but everything else in that day is on point. So you still get your workout unless it's a designated rest day. You still drink plenty of water. You still get all of your vegetables in. You still have your superfood shake. All of those things you're still doing in addition to because one, you're still making sure that you get your body gets the nutrients that it needs um, to bounce back and stay healthy also after that treat. But two, if you're making sure you get those other nutrients in, the likelihood of you having that urge to overdo it um, is less because your body is getting the nutrients that it needs. So once you have that treat, you feel satisfied, it's enough, you can move forward and keep going. Outside of that, once you have your treat, again, a lot of people get in this mindset, okay, the next day I have to work off that treat. This workout is like punishment for having whatever I ate or drank the day before and now I have to work it off. That is not the point of your workout. You're literally just picking back up the next day, making healthier food choices, getting a good workout, sweating out any toxins and endorphins just for your own health is not because you ate that treat the previous day or night and it is not punishment. You're just taking care of your mind and body and picking back up the routine that you were already doing, right? There's no negative um, association with that, right? So it's not a punishment to work off the treat that you had before, but here's some tips. So if that is, you know, you had your treat the, the day before, right? So going into it, go straight to having water first thing in the morning. This is your post-treat bounce back, right? So if you're not already following an intermittent fasting routine, which I can talk more about that if that's something that you are curious about just in general, I'm not gonna go into it in this video because it's already getting a little bit long and that's a whole other topic. But in the instance of bouncing back from a treat meal that you might've had the previous day, get up, drink water. Um, you could do an apple cider vinegar shot or and don't do it straight and dilute it a little bit or make some sort of apple cider vinegar cocktail, I like to call it, with sparkling water or just dilute it with a little bit of water, chug it back. That kind of helps to stave off your hunger um, and your appetite for a little bit initially and just kind of cleanses your body naturally. But then aside from that, do a fasted workout. So your next meal does not come until after you've worked out. So anything that you might be holding on to, you will burn off and sweat out and any glycogen stores from, you know, maybe the, maybe the excess carbs that you had or the sugar or whatever, all that's going to be burned off in that fasted workout. So nothing but, you know, water, maybe your Energize or a cup of coffee if you prefer. Um, Energize is my go-to. 
and then optional with the apple cider vinegar, but definitely water, energize, and then work out before you eat anything that's above 45 calories at the end of the day. All right. Um, and then you pick back up again and you just keep going from there. You have your first meal, you know, whatever it is after that intermittent fasting means that you're fasted for about 16 hours. So if you can hold out for that long after your treat meal, you've done your fasted workout and then work the clock backwards, whatever time you had your last meal the day before, then try to wait that 16 hour fasted window before you have your first meal for the next day. And then boom, you're right back on track. Your superfood shakes are going to help you, you know, again, kind of like a daily cleanse from the inside out. It's gonna flush all the toxins out. Your workout's gonna flush the toxins out, your water, all the things. So it's not a punishment. It is not deprivation. All of these things you can have. So hopefully that makes sense, but that's the way that we balance it. That's the way that I personally um, coach my clients and live myself. So if that's something that you're struggling with, that will help you bounce back and get right back on track. So let me know if that helps you. If you have any other questions about balance and just getting your nutrition in check and not struggling so much with in overindulging or living for the weekends or once you have one treat, then you can't stop. Like if that's you and doing something like this um, would throw you off track, then don't do it. But at the same time, try new things so that you aren't being so strict on yourself for, you know, one week or three weeks or whatever that by the end of that you're just like oh my gosh i want to eat everything because i've not allowed myself to have not one single thing that i love so that is not what these programs are about and if that's what you're doing and you find yourself in that vicious cycle of starting and stopping or doing really good and then going crazy you know falling off track just binge eating everything give yourself that one treat meal each week, not treat day um, of your choice. And then fasted workout, lots of water, getting all your veggies and proteins in, healthy fats, your shake, all those things the day of and the next day and you're good. You should be right back on track. So try it. Let me know if you, if you do well with it and any other questions you have, but that's all I wanted to come and share today. So hopefully that was helpful. See you in the group. Bye guys.